How's the real estate market, you ask? Well, it's kind of like walking the dog. If you hold it back, it creates more tension or demand. If you release the lead, the market tension eases. This might explain our crazy real estate market during these strange times. Hi, Gary Serra here with Serra Associates. Let's take a look at the August 2020 market stats for more insight. In August, home sale and listing activity once again exceeded historical levels. On the demand side, more than 3,000 homes sold, a 3% decrease over July, but a 37% increase over this time last year. On the supply side, we saw over 5,800 new listings in August, a 2.3% decrease over July, and over a 55% increase over this time last year. This brings the total active listing supply to 12,803 homes. Why is this happening? A pent-up demand from the paused busy spring market prior to lockdown and historically low mortgage interest rates are creating competition in today's market. To the supply and demand in our market, we look to the sales to active listings ratio. The balance is what determines price fluctuations. When this ratio dips below 12%, prices typically decline. If it goes above 20, then it puts us in a seller's market. Right now, we are sitting at almost 24%, a seller's market as a whole. By property type, the ratio is 23.7% for detached homes, 30.5% for townhomes, and 21.6% for condos. The benchmark price for all residential properties is currently sitting at $1,038,700. This represents a 5.3% increase over last year and a 0.7% increase over last month. The uncertainty with COVID-19 makes it hard to predict what's going to happen in the market this fall. Does this seem like the right time to get into the market, move up in the market, or cash out? Let's have a coffee on me and chat.